Leading the gym. Week four, day one. In this business. We done. Punching out Parkinson's over there in the corner. Started 2012. This gym was established in 2004. What's happening to you? Be a long time. Yeah, we spit it. You know what's going on now. We're getting the whip. We had that conversation, man. Hold on. All right, we finally hit the whip. Had to park a little further this time. It's just... Boo, you cheated. So it's taking a long way, like everybody else. Cheater. Oh, man. All right, we in this way. Oh, let's get y'all set up. Small conversation this time. From here on, unless something real crazy is going down, I'm gonna make these shorter. Try to make my five minutes. Uh, just kind of like the highlight of each workout. No, 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 no connected phone. I don't need that. I couldn't see, but I ain't trying to get it. So, today, I felt good. Good warm up. Good workout. Got in the mid work. Real good. Feeling real good. Pop, pop, pop. Usually, I'm, I'm kind of gassed about the second go around because we do it in, in teams. Typically, in teams of two. Uh, if you watch last a week three, day threes, uh, vlog, man, uh, they they kind of they kind of worked us. They had uh, they had Gus and Adam. Gus had on the he had on the uh, the body protector, and uh, he had his gloves. Adam had the mitt, so you go from one to the other. And it didn't matter that it was three of us. And one, and one time it was me, Vincent, and I forgot the other Latino dude's name. Uh, three of us. They wouldn't let us rest. You think, oh, man, okay, he got he got him, he got him. I'm going to get it. As soon as he, you think you finished with one, all right, come on. Let's, let's go. Let's get it. He's like, ah, damn it. Let me breathe. Uh, I feel a lot better. I have yet to get those herbs. Um, so I, I, I the only thing I can surmise is that my X Max was really that bad. My X Max, which is uh, I think it's your lung capacity, is how you figure your lung capacity was really that trash. Like uh, from week one, I'm going into week two. Now week four, I was like, oh man, cool, cool, cool. Here's the thing. Uh, they're so adept that when they notice you you're getting better at a certain stage now they push you to the next level it's like oh okay now that you now that you're comfortable you're breathing you're comfortable with your breathing your timing on this pop 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 right left right right left i'm feeling good like oh i got this all right now pivot now do this now oh shoot wait 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 the bodies once you start achieving homeostasis and you're like oh I got this. My body's like, oh yeah, yeah, we got this. We 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 did this a few times. We know it's coming. Now it's like, now move, move. My body's like, whoa, wait, that's that's more oxygen. We're not able to handle that. Now you're pushing yourself, and that's dope. So week four, day one is in the books. Uh, we are approaching a month of doing this, and uh, it feels good. It feels real good. Um, staying committed, staying solid, even when people around me are like. You don't make time for this, that, and other, or uh, if anybody, let me say this. Let me go on record and say this, and this should, I'm going to do this under the five-minute mark. If you have anyone around you that is trying to make you feel bad or, or feel like you're you're being too selfish because you're trying to take care of yourself as far as your health or your finances or, you know, you're lacking in the area you're trying to grow, um, do your best to ignore that person if they're a significant other. And if they're not, if they don't live at home with you or you ain't got to deal with them on a daily basis, go and let them stay on the outside. They'll stay in your outer circle. It's, it's cool. Make that sacrifice. Build yourself up. Because what's going to happen is once you build yourself up, that person or those persons will be right there with their hands out trying to enjoy the fruits of your labor. 
It is what it is. Um, that's all I gotta say, man. I'm, I'm over five minutes now. I don't wanna hold you guys too much longer. Whatever you're trying to do, just jump into it. Make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Your health is your wealth. Until next time, peace and blessings. I say. Week four, day two. Week four, day two, in the books. We done so. I'm dried off a little bit. With the ocean grown OG outfitters. We in here. You know what I'm saying? You see We had a great workout. I don't feel as tired. And uh, today, we took it up a little bit further on the mitt work. Well, Adam took it up. I was just getting there, trying to do a toe. But I, I, I can feel where I'm progressing. Uh, so I hadn't used any herbs for circulation and respiratory. So it was really just my X-Max was that bad. I'm being so sedentary, which I can understand to a point because... Every time I edit these videos, I'm sitting down for a hot minute. And then uh, and if I'm not watching YouTube, sitting down. <sighs> Editing videos sitting down. You know, there you go. I'm not sitting down. So we're doing that. Talk with Polly today. Well, he can't smoke with me. He's asking me, you know, can I come in a little bit, a few more days? And uh, I was already thinking about that, adding a fourth day, then adding a fifth, and then possibly sixth, where it's uh, Monday morning, Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning. Thursday evening, Friday morning, and then Saturday morning. <sighs> Which is be a doozy. Because uh, that, that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, that Tuesday to Wednesday, and then that Thursday to Friday will be the doozy. Because you work out, you sleep. But then, you know, the results will speak for themselves. So it's just uh, a matter of getting that time in and uh, getting a good schedule down. Um, Because... Things change. You got a wife, kids, and all this stuff. So it'd be like that. But man, this this day is in the books. Um, I feel like I'm getting better. Uh, the cardio is working. Um, when it's time for me to go and move, I'm moving. Um, I'm I'm getting better. Uh, uh if you worry about getting hit, you're gonna get hit. But it's it's good to it's good to experience it. And I'm showing you guys some of the sparring. Because these guys getting there and that leather does not feel good smacking against your body at all. Uh, that leather, <laughs> that leather or that, uh, that, that protein, whatever it's made out of, I don't give a damn. When it's smacking against your body, you boom, and it ain't got to hit you hard. It's not even with real attempt. It's just to let you know that, hey, you can get tapped. It don't feel good at all. So, uh, but. If you you're serious about this and you go you because if you stay in this you're eventually gonna get to the point where you'll you'll want to do some sparring. Typically you'll want to do some sparring, and um, unless you're just doing this strictly for the workout. If you're doing it strictly for the workout, then you probably won't have to worry about that. But if you want to get into sparring, mm -hmm. you know, getting tapped here and there, kind of gets you out of that shot mode and that flinch mode where you you, you want to close your eyes and do like that. You kind of you kind of get hit, but you you force yourself. Oh no, let me just keep my eyes open because you might get tapped once. You, you close your eyes, you move, you open them up. Boom, right there, you get tapped again. That could be the knockout blow. So you don't want to do that. You want to, you know, that's why you see boxers when they get, if they, early rounds, they get hit. If they do get hit, they start moving, but they kick their eye on their opponent and they move out the way of the next blow and, you know, work for the counter, you know. So, man, I feel good. So we finna get home and I'm finna, I'm finished talking. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, Check the, the description below for all the products I purchased. Um, I'm looking for some more boxing shoes. Let me let you know that. So if you, you're you looking to buy some boxing shoes, the ones I got from Tidal, uh, they're already turned apart on me a little bit. But uh, 
I, you know, I'm a heavy dude, and maybe that's part of the reason why uh, I'm, they're, they're trying to part them. But it is what it is, man. Peace and blessings. I say. All right, y'all. Hold on. All right, back here. We rolling. I know, right? Close as shit. Close as shit. Give me a little, a little camera hold thing. Oh, let me not scratch my whip up. Fuck my shit up. Too close to that. But yeah, man, um, good, good workout. I'm feeling, feeling good, man. I feel like after every workout, I'm, I'm becoming a better version of me. Even when it hurts, man. Uh, and this time, I was under, I'm under the weather, actually. I'm under sinus drainage out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere. I'm chilling. Crazy thing is, when when it happened, I was talking to Polly, and he was wondering if I could come in and work and do more workout. You know, come in more, do more sessions, and you know, six days a week. I'm like, shit. So if I did that, I'd have changed my schedule entirely. I have to do all mornings, and then if I'm a vlog all that, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely want to hire a uh, editor because ain't no way in the world I'm be able to. to uh, to keep up with that many videos needing to be edited at any uh I need to go way. at any given point in time. Not not what all I do, man. I, I you know shoot the content, father, I work. I got way too much on my plate to try to edit that many videos. Yeah. But uh Oh, uh, see, yeah, you hear snotting and stuff. Yeah, man, good workout. Push the intensity. Every time I work out, and I feel like I'm getting better, or I'm, I'm getting to the point where, okay, I, 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 my body can coast, they notice and they push me, and I love that. Um, and also, you guys, I got a special treat. I have interviews. Little short interviews with a, a couple of the people who uh, box also here at this gym. Uh, we're very ten years here at this gym, so I'm not gonna do all the talking. I'm gonna let them speak and uh, you know, do it just like that. Two so next, what's going on? It's your boy Big Vic. Welcome back. So uh, we just finished training. We got a gentleman by the name of Angel. Move this way. Oh, way to now he boxes nice up here with me. He's been boxing for how long? How long have you been boxing? About six months. Six months. Why did you choose boxing? Well, uh, I didn't like going to the gym. I was just waiting until the clock ticked down. So uh, I'm like, ah, this is boring. But here, there's an objective. You know, watch time. Feel, let's go, baby. Good work, man, yeah, baby. Let's it go. feels like I'm going towards something. Yeah, there's a goal. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so do you see yourself competing or just more for the workout? Uh, right now, really for the workout, but uh, maybe later on once I get more confident, uh, maybe I could put myself out there and start, you know, do, do some amateur sparring. fighting. Yep. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's see if we can get another interview real quick. Let's see if we can get another one. We'll see if she'll she get on camera. And then I'll see you if she's doing another interview. All right, so we have a, a lady who's boxing. So you've been doing this for a minute. Though. How many years? Two years. Now, why boxing instead of just a regular gym, though? Um, I feel like it's just grateful body workout. It definitely gets you in shape real quick. Because we're doing things at a high intensity level, fast pace, and it's real good conditioning. Now, there's something interesting about you and the fact that you box. You're asthmatic. So there's no excuse for people, right? Get in here and get it. Oh, yeah. I can do it. It's like you heard it. You heard it. All right, so this that's the interview part. I'm gonna do try to do this from now on. I had the interview portion get a couple people out here that uh been doing a lot of the news. And um, next time we talk, I'll be in the car. And we'll be All right, guys, those were the interviews. Check back. I think I'm gonna do it on Saturdays only. I think my Saturday videos are gonna be the ones where I do the interviews and give you some insight on the people who box. Um, and then I think we're going to try to get sit, a sit down with Polly Ayala himself, the gym owner, uh, former two-time champion, world champion at that. And uh, that's going to be a whole event. All right. Peace and blessings.